The lead attorney in the Clearwater Stand Your Ground case that made national headlines last year is now facing criminal charges himself. And as I-Team investigator Adam Walser uncovered, it's not the first time someone on his legal, legal team has been in trouble. The high-profile attorney in the Michael Draca Stand Your Ground case, John Trevina, found himself behind bars here at the Pinellas County Jail after he was arrested Monday night, accused of battering his ex-wife. In an orange jumpsuit, prominent defense attorney John Trevina represented himself at a bond hearing Tuesday morning. Largo police say he pushed and kicked his ex-wife at her apartment. We were waiting when Trevina got out of jail. I spent the last 18 hours incarcerated over nothing, nothing whatsoever. And I can assure you the charge will be dropped. I will be vindicated. We got into a verbal altercation. I think part of it she might have even video recorded. There was never any physical violence. Trevina said they argued over a rug. It was valued at nearly $50,000. I just had it restored. Trevina is the lead attorney for Michael Draca, who is facing a manslaughter charge after fatally shooting another man over a handicapped parking spot at a convenience store in July. Why would it have anything to do with his case at all? I mean, this has nothing to do. This is a private issue between me and my ex-wife and a police department who is seeking vengeance for all the times I've sued him in the past and embarrassed them for all of their incompetence before. Trevina is not the first member of Draca's legal team to be arrested. Attorney Lisa Clifton resigned after she was arrested twice for driving under the influence. Actually, the third attorney was arrested as well. Will Flores had a DUI arrest, so uh, three of us have had arrests. Arrests don't mean anything. Convictions is what counts. Former judge and law school professor Jeff Swartz disagrees. There is a potential problem depending upon the facts and circumstances. Swartz says if the team loses the Stand Your Ground case, it could be grounds for an appeal for the man on trial. If you're being investigated, are you going? is your representation of your client going to be as zealous as it would be otherwise, being having fear of angering the prosecutors or the police more. Trevino was released on his own recognizance, one of the conditions that he not possess any firearms. He said that wouldn't be a problem because he already surrendered his guns in connection with another investigation. I'm I-Team Investigator Adam Walser taking action for you.